day. Happy morning to you all. Hope you're having a fantastic Thursday. It's almost a weekend. Um, I know many of you started. Many of us have not because some of us had to work. But also, it's day five of Vlogmas, right? It's day five. Um, today is going to be a normal vlog. And at the end, I might add into um, either a college week 15? No. Yeah, I think week 15 of college football. Or I might do week 14 of NFL position. I don't know yet. Just stay tuned to the end. But um, I'm just out and about. Uh, I just fit it a friend. And then I have a couple hours before I work. So I'm just gonna chill out, chill out. And yeah. But um, before I do anything, I'm gonna. Let you guys know, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on that bell, give the video a big thumb up for Vlogmas and Christmas season, and have a fantastic day. Comment down below what you are doing today. Hey guys, sorry about that. Sorry that I cut you off short, but uh, I got to the window so I had to uh, talk to them. So, till then, I might drive home to relax. Let's do some random dancing to some yeah, fire band. Got about right. Checking in. Um, I'm home for the next couple of hours, maybe like more like two. Um, so I'm just gonna relax right now, probably watch some YouTube or watch um, another show that I'm watching, and then take a shower and then leave it then. <laughs> But uh, if you didn't touch it at the uh, beginning of this video, if you are new to this channel, or if you haven't done it already, please hit that subscribe button. 
Um, and while you do that, hit that bell notification so you be notified when I upload a video. Because you do not want to miss any vlog miss content or any content in 2020 because there's going to be fun content coming your way. Trust me. And why not? Give the video a big thumb up if you like the whole vlogging thing. Um, if you want me to do more of it after Vlogmas. And yeah. And then of course, why not? We got a comment down below. Let's see. Comment down below. Hmm. Let's see, it's Thursday, let's see, what time is time down below? Time down below, what is one thing you done this year that you never, you never thought you would do? How about that? Good question. I wish be behind and let you know in the next uh, session. Whatever that be, wherever I would be. Hey guys, I'm just checking in. It's been a couple of hours. Um, so basically, I just watched a YouTube video. And then I took a shower. I got all dialed up. And I didn't really do much with my hair. I just let it uh, naturally slide. I definitely need a hair tie. I really do. It's getting a little too long. But I want to do something different with my hair. I just don't know what. Um, any suggested leaving in below. I want to, I don't know. I don't know what I want to do with it. I just, I, like, I like the highlight. I'm going to keep the highlight. I just want to try something different. Be unique. But I don't know what. But I probably won't do the hair tie until after the holiday. But I definitely need one. Enough of that. Um, so I got all dialed up with a little outfit, um, and I'm at work right now. I'm going to be going in in like nine minutes. So I thought, why not uh, update you guys on the vlog for today? See what I'm doing. So, yeah. You know, I really do not like safety feature on Tarn, they try me in pain. Apparently in front and death, dentary, it's not available. So now I have a warning sign on my tongue. You know, you know all the good things like But then it, it, it would go away in like ten minutes. So why did I even do it? Tall update, you know, all these things are stupid. Comment down below if you agree. And, yeah. Am I ready for the three hour share? No, I'm not. I'm not ready for the three hour share. Really, I'm not. Oh, dirty. Yeah, dirty, dirty, dirty. How are your Thursday doing, y'all? Doing, doing all right? Fantastic. Well, you're ready for the weekend? I don't have a weekend, so. Nope. Uh, but a mail are done, and they love to spend money on the weekend. Right? Well, that's my little update for you guys. Yeah. Lovely, just lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. You know, all that did that. So, I think I'm gonna just listen to music before I go in in the next seven minutes. Time fly. Why the time go by? Hey, Dad, I'm just shutting in. Um, I just finished that shift. Uh, let's just say it wasn't too bad, but it was still busy. Just like that. Um, and now I'm gonna go let the puppy out. Uh, make sure it have dinner. And probably 
go home and probably do that thing that I told you about earlier. Uh, do the I probably do with the NFL position doing different blog because why not? Um, yeah. So, come on the show with me. Let's oh, go. hey, guy. Um, just checking in, and let's see. I'm I'm at I'm letting the dog out right now. So I mind. Why not do what I talked about earlier? So I'm gonna combine with this blog. I'm gonna combine the um, my pick of the winner, the winner and loser of week fourteen in the NFL. Can you believe that? We're already on week fourteen. Um, so I'm gonna pick the winner and I'm gonna pick the loser. I'm gonna tell you that what the the what's gonna be a the dame and what's not gonna be the dame. Um, it's a bit weak. So let's start out with Athne, the team that's playing tonight, which is the Dallas Cowboy versus Chicago Bell. So again, this is prime time game. Um, Cowboy lost last week. They lost pretty bad too. Um, Chicago Bell won last week. And the both of these teams both played on Thanksgiving, but not together. Um, so it's a Tyler Bill one, Cowboy Law. So you got one team that don't come off a law and one team coming off a win. They both had the third amount of days to prepare for the thing. So I don't know. The Cowboy is going to be hunting for a win. But I think Chicago Bill is going to make it a little harder for them because Chicago Bell want to that the doesn't win. So I don't this is gonna be tough. Yeah, I I think it's gonna be a slow thing. I kinda wanna see Chicago Bell come out and beat the uh the Tower Boy. But I don't know, I know the Tower Boy are really hunting for a W, so it's gonna be slow. Then we had into Sunday action, which the best game to watch on Sunday, like literally the best game to watch, a good game, a great game, it's gonna it's gonna be happening in Buffalo, New York, between Buffalo Bill and the Baltimore Raven. This game is gonna be it's gonna be a very low throwing game, that's for sure. And I want to see Buffalo come out with a W this week. I have a. I think they can do it because they had more time to prepare for the thing. We definitely played on Thanksgiving, so we had a whole week and eight three days to prepare and rest up and all those things that you do after when you play football. Um, so I, I feel like Buffalo gonna come out with a W, like. It gonna be all defense gonna be really good. Um, so I think Buffalo gonna win. It, but I I will tell you this that it's gonna be an amazing game to watch. Like it's gonna be such a good game. You got two second year quarterback that was drafted in the first round. Came from the same quarterback class, class, and they both use their lead, and they both have a hard arm. Like it's gonna be a good game. Um, the next game is the Panther versus the Falcon. I think the Panther can win this one. They can definitely get the W this way. So I might go with the Panther, but it's gonna be another good game. Then we got the Bengal. First the Brown, the Bando finally won their first game, I think, last week, I think? No, or the week before that. I don't know, they, they won their first game recently. Um, but I think the Brown's gonna win them. Um, then we got the... Um, Redden, Washington Redden versus the Green Bay Panthers. 
I think the Panthers are gonna win this one. I think Aaron Warriors gonna come out and win. Then we got the Vikings versus the Lions. Lions coming off a of law. And I think the I think Viking is coming off a of W, if I remember correctly. I think Viking can win this one. For sure. Then we got the 49ers. Don't up and then Drew Breed and the New Orleans Saints. This one's gonna be a good matchup. This is gonna be another good game. Um, 49ers, Law Flattery, and then Baltimore Raven. But even though they lost, they beat up on Baltimore Raven a lot during that game. Like Baltimore Raven got beat up, even though they came out with a W last week, they still got beat up. So I, I'm thinking it's going to be a good game. Like, there's two good games this week. Bill versus the Raven and the 49ers versus the New Orleans Saints. Like, those two games right there are going to be huge and probably the most popular game to watch this weekend on Sunday. Um, I don't know if I can pick a winner between these two teams. But... Just the way they've been both playing, it's going to be very slow. It's going to come down to the last lesson. Then we got the Dolphins versus the New York Jets. This one, I don't even know. Like, they are not, too, they are like average team. They're not doing that amazing. I think the New York Jets took 10 win this one. Um, but I don't know. I think I'm going to go with the New York Jets. Then we got the Indianapolis Tote versus the Buccaneers. So this game right here, um, if Buffalo win this Sunday, we, and we want to lock in our playoff position, Buffalo wants the Buccaneers to beat the Tote. So that's, that's going to be true. So I, I think I want to say Buccaneers to the win because it would help Buffalo. Even though we even though Buffalo would still be in playoff either way, but it would help us even better more. Um the next game, Bronto versus Tactin. Again um Bronto if Bronto beat the Tactin that will also help Buffalo locked in their uh, playoff position. Even though we're, either way we're still going to be in playoff. But it's just going to help. Um, like I, Bronto can do it. They can do it if they play good football. The next thing we got the Charger versus the Shad Wild. I don't know who's going to win this one. I kind of want to see Charger get another win. But, I don't know, this might be another low throwing game. Or maybe even a field goal game. They both tip field goal the whole entire game. Then we got the Oakland Raiders versus the Tennessee Titans. This one, um, to help Buffalo even more than what they have now. Then I want Oakland Raiders to beat the Titans. That'd be a t a T T idea. So I think I'm gonna go with Oakland on that one. Then we got the Tanner City Chief going up against the Patriot. And I'm gonna go with the Tanner City Chief and Pat Mahomes to be take down Tom Brady and the Patriot. Because honestly if you're not paying attention right now, Patriot offense not doing so good. This literally uh highlight from last weekend that Tom Brady got so mad at his receiver. Like, their offense is not doing what they should be doing. Um, there's many factors in that. They're just, they won't be the top team very long, no. Their time, their destiny had come to an end, finally. I know a lot of us are happy about that. 
The next name is Theo vs. Tarno. This one, I want the Tarno to beat the Theo. But the Buffalo played the um, next the following week. With Buffalo 10 beat the Theo without a problem. Um, but to help that, I want Eliana to win and then Theo. Then we got the Seattle Seahawks versus the Los Angeles Ram. Now this one, I want to take the game, but just the way both of the teams are playing, I feel like the Seattle Seahawks is going to um, win this one. I have a feeling. And then Monday night game in New York Giants versus the Philadelphia Eagles. And I really don't want the Eagles to win, so I, I kind of want to get an upset, and I want the Giants to beat the Eagles. That's just me. Um, I know maybe some people would want that too, but let's see. So those are all the NFL action and winner and loser of week 14. Um, if you agree with me or you want some of team to lose to help Buffalo be in a better position, then comment down below if you want that. Like, die. Buffalo in the playoff either way. Um, that defense, don't mess with that defense. That offense is just improving every single way. You, you, you've seen it. Josh Allen is do, improving from last season to this season, and you can definitely see that. You can, this team is, is a family. They are a family-based team, and they just, Work hard. You can see that in their game. You can see that in their practice. They work hard. Even Frank Doyle, like, he's a hard working player. And having him on a team like Buffalo around John Dye, that's huge. That's what you want to do in the NFL. You want to get a backwind player that can help that and have that leadership. Or like admin. Jermaine Edmond in another shoe. Like, he's young. He's in his second year, but he's a leadership on that defense. Travion White. Again, like, there's so many people on that Bills team that are making their team more like a family and teaching people Learning, helping the new die, you know, all that team. That's what you want. You want to build an NFL team like that. So, I again, we should give a round of applause to Brandon Bean and Sean McDermott because they did amazing job. We all know that. And they are doing phenomenal at their head coach and general manager. So, just keep that in mind. So, with that tangent, that is week 14 action in the NFL. And, um, good game. There's really only two good games this week. All the other ones, eh, not too bad. The good game are 49er versus the Saints and Bale versus the Boston Raven. Are the two really good games that we all should pay attention to. Other than that, no. So, with that being said, I think I'm going to slow the vlog out there so I can edit it when I get home. So... I hope your Thursday went well. Um, day five of Blood Myth is over. Can you believe that? We're only on day five. And also, just remember, find your magic moment, Dai. You are worth it. Believe, tell, be, literally say that to yourself every morning. You are worth it no matter what. And believe in yourself. Believe in who you are. Be who you want to be. Because that will make sure you, you're happy in life. Do what you want to do. Like, help others, but make sure you are doing what you want to do. Remember that. You are worth it. I will see you die tomorrow. Bye.